Well, let's talk about the iPhone for a little bit. There's some new stuff. I mean, every week there's something new with the iPhone. Yeah. Yes. And uh, what you might have forgotten is every year there's some <laughs> gate with the iPhone. It's like I drama, like, baby. It has let's to be. Go. I feel like this one happens every year, though. It has to be. Yeah. Mm, last year there was more... <laughs> Wasn't it build quality stuff? I don't even remember. But it shows you okay, how important so this they is were. build quality. Yeah. Okay, so the one that's sort of at the top of mind for most people right now is overheating. I've seen like five posts in a row about this today. Yeah. So, so, and a lot of them are like sarcastic, and a lot of them are actually people with issues. So just to just to get it out in front, the issue that a lot of people seem to be well, a lot of people that some amount of people seem to be having is the iPhone 15s and 15 Pros are overheating. And it's been attributed to a couple possible things. Maybe it's software bugs. Maybe it's the A17 Pro or just the new phones in general. Um, either way, lots of people having overheating issues with their phones and going to Twitter, sorry, X, to talk about them. This is one of the reasons, actually, that my iPhone review was, I would say, a little bit late. It's because the last thing I've been testing after all the other new stuff with the phones and all the camera stuff and all the screen stuff and all the other stuff we've tested is the battery life. And you and I, have, you've had the Pro Max. Yeah. I've had the 15 Pro, spent the most time with it, trying to compare it to the old phone. And I'm just not getting a good read on if it's any better or any worse at all. Yeah. But the way I've described it is with any phone, I typically have a bunch of average days and then a couple light days that are really good and a couple heavy days that are really bad. Mm -hmm. And that'll let me get my, I'm not doing like benchmarks and like laying them out and side by side stuff. I'm just, I'm going by feel. And with this phone, I've had a plenty of those average days, but I haven't had any really good days. I haven't had any sort of light days where I get eight hours of screen on time and I'm like, man, this thing's got great standby time. I haven't had that day yet where I normally would have had it by now. Yeah. And I have had some weird instances of the phone getting hot in my hands in the middle of something random. There's no rhyme or reason for it for like five minutes mm -hmm. or 10 minutes at a time. I was just, and this is the last anecdote, I was just at a, a golf event in Florida. It was like 90 something degrees. The real feel was like 105. I was outside full brightness, GPS on for the golf thing, like lots going on, phone did not overheat, no problem. But then on the airplane on the way home, phone is in airplane mode, I'm playing Spotify, and it's getting hot in my hands and drops like 4% <laughs> in five minutes. Wow. In like five minutes, and then it was fine, and it went back to normal. And huh. I was like, what? what is actually happening to this phone? Huh. So it's going in the review, I have to mention it, I don't know what's causing these issues. The best guess I have is it some type of software bug, whether it's iOS 17 or some apps or some combination of things that all of these people have in common? But that's been my findings. I'm curious if you have any heat issues with the phone you've been testing. Um, I haven't noticed a lot of heat issues that I didn't also have with the 14 Pro. Okay, That's sort of what I have, you know, it gets hot sometimes um, fairly randomly. Like, Especially for, so I've noticed if I charge it on a wireless charger, even for just two minutes, it'll heat up a lot, mm -hmm. um, which that's kind of natural, but it heats up like a decent amount. I wouldn't say it's like significantly more than the, the 14 Pro. I mean, yeah. we've been talking about how our battery life has been like either super average or kind of below average. In general, on the Max, I've gotten less than I got on the 14 Pro Max and especially the 13 Pro Max um, because I'm getting like 24 hours instead of like three days. I did have on like Saturday, I I noticed that I had a really good day where it was like 73% battery by the end of the day, but it was like two hours of screen on time. So I wasn't really using my phone that much. But that's a good day because if you like extrapolate it out, two hours at 73% is like eight hours. Eight hours. That's yeah. pretty great. Yeah, pretty good. So I like to see those days. Yeah, that's that's interesting. But I, yeah, I don't know why it randomly decides to like just turn the CPU on full load. It'll on just random crank apps. through. What am I at right now? 68 that's I, reasonable this is i really wonder if like the new gpu cores and the new um like ai cores and ml cores or whatever if those are like spinning up at instances where they don't need to or so i my thinking behind that is those should all be lower power cores than the main big powerful ones yeah and if you just go by like people's benchmark results it seems that these newest phones have done the best on benchmark. I've seen a couple different benchmark results where the newest phones score the highest. Yeah. That's why I think it has to be a software thing. There has to be some app or combo of apps or something in iOS 17 where if you're doing something, it just like 
flips it to 100 and just has a really bad five minutes. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what that is, but that's the only thing I can think of. That's weird. Andrew, you are going to say something? All right, Farouk iPhone do you know who he is? He did a video saying he thinks, and he was doing some testing, that Instagram, for some reason, was doing it, and that also it was an iOS 17 thing because he got his 14 Pro to do it mm -hmm. as well. And he shows an example of just, like, loading up Instagram putting a like temperature reader on it and within Jeez, like insane. five minutes it goes up 15 degrees it goes from 80 to 95 wow um wow i don't know and like at that point he said he was losing about a percent a minute in terms of battery life mm. Jesus. Um, that's yeah. pretty bad one <laughs> percent that's every minute absurd that's, yeah so he lost wow. like 10 percent in the 10 minutes that he's like filming the video um, oh. it, it was just interesting i'm sure it sounds like it's more random than that although the fact that he was able to the funny thing also is he compared it to opening threads first checking the temperature for a few minutes no change and then opens instagram so same company software but both totally different things hmm. um <laughs> i i just i thought that was funny it was an interesting video it seems like he he thinks it's iOS 17, not necessarily just the new iPhone, but okay. I don't that could, know. There could be uh, something to it. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, I use Instagram. I have the app on my phone. I've, I've definitely yeah. used it in the past couple of days, but I haven't, I haven't been able to pinpoint it. I feel like it's one of those things where it's going to be very hard to find the exact thing. <laughs> it's super thing, hard to lock this down. Then they'll like fix it without saying there was ever a problem, and then we'll that's, all forget about it, and that's, we'll ever know. Yeah, this is what I am guessing is going to happen. Is uh, We're already on 17.0.2. I, th I think we're going to get some more software updates. I think people are going to push updates to their apps. iOS is going to continue to get updated, and eventually it's going to even out at basically the same battery life as last year. I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, Fun. Yeah. Pretty, what's a boring solution <laughs> to, like, an exciting gate, and everyone wants to be freaking out, but, like, it's probably not going to be that insane. Yeah. Yeah. That would explain why I'm not getting as good battery life on the Max, though, especially if that's happening, like, in my pocket and I'm just not noticing or something. Because yeah. sometimes what I did notice is when I did notice the phone was hot is when I reached into my pocket to grab it, and it was already really hot. No, yeah, I, yeah and I was it's like... It's so funny to be, like, not using it and pick it up, and yeah. it's, like, really hot. And I had assumed, like, oh, did I, like, turn on the flashlight by accident and it was on for a while yeah. or something, but it was never on, so... As a two-phone person, I'll, I'll, like, check both pockets, and, like, one phone is cool and the other phone's hot, and I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> what's happening? The pixel gets warm sometimes, too, just randomly. Yeah, hot leg, cold leg. It's the way it is. In terms of the other thing that kind of... Obviously, Jerry, everything's video of him just crushing the uh, the iPhone 15 Pro Max you're in his really, hands was really... fantastic. Yeah. Um, are you guys seeing any durability issues? Uh, no. I have a story. <laughs> uh oh. I have a story. Uh oh. I have um, my review unit iPhone. This happens every year. I have my review unit, but I also will buy one of them for my own. <laughs> and. I was at an Ultimate Frisbee tournament. <laughs> Didn't this happen last year? Yeah. <laughs> I was at an Ultimate Frisbee tournament, and I went to sit down to put my cleats on, and it slipped out of my pocket. So I'm already sitting down. On the ground. On the on the concrete. But the ground, not in, like, a chair. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I want to sit down on the ground, and two inches out of my pocket, the review unit falls out of my pocket, and I literally, it's one of those drops where you're like, yeah, it's fine. And I put it back in my pocket. And I looked at it, like, a minute or two later, and it's got a crack across the back. I was like, what? How? How? I didn't, there's no other opportunity for it to get that crack. That's when it happened. But that's the glass. And so I don't feel like that's that crazy because glass breaks and the titanium is totally fine mm -hmm. as, I, as expected. I've dropped phones on the edges before. This is the thing is like when you drop a phone, it's really just luck about what part of the phone lands on the yeah. ground. That's wherever all the energy gets absorbed Physically speaking, that's what's going to have the hard, biggest mm -hmm. chance of breaking. Uh, the next day, I go to the random mall in Marlboro, Massachusetts, wherever I was, and I picked up my natural titanium one, and that one has not had any problems. I haven't dropped it, but yeah, that's my story. I have actually cracked a phone for the first time in years. I feel like the last time a phone slipped out of your pocket was... Wasn't it like getting into some low car with a pixel and it got that pink line across the front of the screen? Do you remember that? Was that mine? I think so. But that was also with a, I believe a pixel that was having screen issues where like one of the connectors got loose very easily. And oh. it's not that it broke the screen. It's that a pink line came up across the display. I don't remember that. Um, yeah. I mean, that so was a while ago. my theory on why the like Apple went square with the iPhone was because if they lower the amount, they lower the chance that a piece of the glass is going to touch the impact point and it just hits mm -hmm. the rim, 
the chances yeah. of it breaking are way lower. So remember when the 12 came out and they they called it like what was their branding for the screen that year? Ceramic shield. Ceramic shield. Yeah. It's like yeah, it's square, so you probably won't hit the glass <laughs> yeah. anymore. It's probably just gonna. But they have like infused ceramic in the glass or something. Yeah, something like that. But I would bet that's probably true. But their like durability testing probably got better because it just didn't impact the glass as, as often. Right. Zach does say that the he thinks the ceramic shield glass is like doing better for the scratch test. He, yeah. He said it looks really good. Um, he also, everyone should watch that video. He also cuts it up to see how much of this grade five titanium there is because that shit ain't cheap. And mm, like, just that was really right? interesting. Yeah. But yeah. the fact that on the Pro Max, he could bend it with his thumbs and just absolutely splinter the back of the phone was kind of crazy. Wow. Oh, the only other thing I want to say here is there's a picture going around in terms of this durability gate of like an iPhone with a cracked back glass and the camera like being completely popped out oh you showed Ooh. me this yeah. yeah i was like wow that does seem really bad and then i found the testing from it and it's sam cole who does a lot of iphone stuff and he was doing drop tests it was the 14th drop he did and it was from the second story of like a thing of stairs onto concrete okay so like so? listen there might be some durability issues with this whatever but like Stop using that picture. He dropped it yeah, onto concrete. There's some crazy memes. I mean, and Zach always does the crazy stuff he does with his phones, like a blowtorch or whatever. And it's like, wow, I wonder why it broke. It's it did good. The lighter didn't affect the front screen at all. That it's was good, pretty. I usually light my phone on fire, <laughs> so I'm glad. I'm glad it doesn't affect it. Yeah, yeah it's like the enough. least likely thing to happen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm glad it's. I'm glad it's durable. Um, I'll keep an eye on it. If anything else gets scratched or. Whatever happens, mm -hmm. you'll be the first to know on he, X. He did threads. tear it apart with two hands, though, didn't he? Didn't he try to do the he just did, test and it just exploded? And it just, like, the backlash is, like, shattered Dang. with both his thumbs in it. I just want to try it. You didn't see that? No, I didn't watch that one. Wait, really? I watched the one where he was, like, carving up the stainless. Because he had hold the, on, the, the blue to, one. He made a no, couple of videos on, I need about to show it. you this. Live okay. reaction. I thought you saw it. I wanted to know if there is a light color stainless steel underneath the, the blue coated or dark coated titanium. So I, I got to the part where he scratches the titanium and it's immediately just bright silver under it. No, but that's still the grade five titanium. Right, but it's a coating that he cut through. It's a coating he cuts through, which is just color. It's just like however right. you do that. That was um, my concern. Like if I drop my phone oh, it'll and it's a dark colored phone, it's mm -hmm. going to look crazy. Yeah. So that's confirmed from Zach's video. Wait, that's hold on. I, I, need, to, I need to show you this clip though. Okay. One eternity later. Jesus. I mean like... Huh. Obviously, you're not really going to be doing that, but he mentions right after this, like, iPhones don't do this in any of my testing every time I do this. And it's only the Pro Max, so I'm assuming the leverage of it is helping with that. He could not do it on the regular Pro. Okay, so that's really interesting. Because remember remember ben, remember ben Gate, <laughs> And it was just the 6 Plus, because that yeah. was a thinner, longer piece of uninterrupted aluminum, and it was easier to bend. That's mm -hmm. fascinating. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. It really means a lot because we made a lot of clips this Techtember. True. But the thing is, it's about to be Techtober. <sighs> also true. <laughs> Which means we got a lot more clips coming up. So many. We'd appreciate it if you, feel. If, you, uh, if you liked this clip because it shows us that you will also like <laughs> future Techtober clips as well. Is this AI Marquez that I'm this talking is, to you right yeah, now? This is, yeah, this is Dolly. Dolly. I kind of felt like an AI delivery. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't written by AI, I promise. This AI. is Greg. <laughs> Thanks for it. Played by Marquez Bradley. <laughs> That's like that. <laughs> it looks like Marquez Bradley. And the it sounds like guy. Marquez Bradley. Yeah, the it's frisbee probably guy. Frisbee guy. not Marquez Bradley. Uh, Thanks for liking The frisbee guy. <laughs>